Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, Livestreaming. So denke. Happiest little Japanese you will ever meet, and I am traditional foreign as well. I would like to give you a kiss. That is correct. That is what I would enjoy. But Yumi Ishikawa is the happiest. Oh my god, this is Korean Bubble Sunny Kim. I'm traditional foreign as well. I don't understand what's up with these traditional American women. Hi everybody, I'm TK Amber. Hi everybody, I'm TK Amber. I've been a traditional American woman for years since I was born because my father taught me correctly. That's what he did. So I'm here for you. I will cook for you. I'll clean for you. I'll do whatever you want me to because I serve you and you serve God. That's how it goes. This is Angel Fernandez. Traditional uh, a Filipina and I am the happiest little Filipina you will ever meet in your entire life And I serve you as well and you serve God because I believe In being Catholic Traditional form women legionnaires you <laughs> Oh you forgot about me don't forget about the little Latinas you, you forgot about the little Latinas. <laughs> that is not right. That is not right. This is Maria Hernandez. I'm Mexicans. I'm a Mexicans. I will take care of you. I'm being extra squealy because I need attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enchiladas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tacos, mm -hmm. oh, those are easy. Chilenos, no problem. I can't wait to move. Lots of homeless people. Look at this. There's a bum, a bag lady right there. She's hanging out, and now there's a beeping truck. Now there's a normie staring at me, confused. Can't wait to move out of this city. <sighs> ah, can't wait to stop running away from noise all the time. Constant noise. Jesus. Every second of every day, noise. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you see all the constant noise, guys? I'm so sick and tired of this. Freaking city. And you think it's noisy where I am? Man, you have no clue. I live in southern Los Angeles. That's not even this, you know, place, but I live south of Los Angeles. You have no idea, gentlemen. Megalopolises. They're always noisy. There's nothing you can do about it. Whew. At least Hong Kong's kind of consistent buzz, but it is what it is. This topic is long overdue. This is a long overdue one. <sighs> Just ran up those freaking hills. So it's sick and tired of LA. So annoying. I'm out of here, dude. But anyway, don't you put the like button as you come in. Forget the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, become a Legionnaire member, hit the notification bell, be done with all of this weirdness, be done with it all, move on. But I thought this was an interesting topic because we are going to talk about the differences because I keep getting the same crap from a lot of guys. They really don't know what they're doing. They keep saying the same things, you know. These dating roaches are the worst, and a lot of the RP guys as well, and a lot of dating, or uh, what do they call relationship roaches, they all say the same crap. They're all on that same kick. It's the same crap. Stay here. You're a coward if you leave, yada, yada. 
And I really want to, I really want to explore their stupidity a little bit further because they don't seem to have their finger on the pulse at all. It's just, oh, just do this and oh, just do that. If it was that simple, how come everybody isn't succeeding, you people? You, you effing, you know what's, you mindless, brainless lemmings, you grifters, whatever you want to call yourselves, that's what you are, son, because I am your father. To all the dating roaches, to all the relationship roaches, I am your father. And you are my sons and daughters because you have no clue what you are talking about. The worst of the worst. Now, of course, I'm going to sprinkle little nuggets here and there, but unfortunately, they are not dealing with the big picture. The big picture is liberal and conservative relationships do not work in a liberal society. It is that simple. You can slice it any way you want. You can dice it any way you want. You can move it up and down. They don't work. And at the end of the day, most men want a family. At the end of the day, and most women want a family, correct? Well, you're losing 99.999% of the time in this westernized society to all you genius out, geniuses out there who can't even crunch any numbers. So, let's really delve into your, you know, you need to find a good woman because that's really what you're trying to say. Oh, you need to find the good woman. You need to have the success. You need to do all these things in order to qualify for somebody who's been ran through somebody let's not even go there let's just say let's just say the traditional western woman is spectacular let's just go there okay let's just say for argument's sake mr R relationship roach mr dating roach that they are top quality that you can they're unbeatable they're virgins they're pure they're amazing they're chaste. For those of you who don't know what that is, that means they are modest. Let's just say, for argument's sake, mister, you need to find a diamond in a rough. Let's just say you are correct. What does society tell them to do every day? What does society tell them to do every day, Mr. Genius? Oh, that's right. Society tells them to break up and go be single. What do their friends tell them to do every friggin' day? Your boyfriend, he doesn't do X, Y, Z. What does social media tell them to do every effing day? Oh, that's right. Upgrade. Social media, shopping, spoil me. I want to be spoiled. You're already spoiled. You're spoiled rotten. You're actually rotten. It's too late. So that argument's right out the window, son. Daughter, your arguments make no sense. Just like that friggin' forklift. <sighs> I can't wait to move out of here, guys. If you watch my stream where I was traveling, <sighs> quiet. The only thing you really heard was deer, and you can't even hear them. They're silent. Can't wait to move. I'm out of here. So, so what, what the hell happened? Why did that take a minute to get focused? I don't know. That was bizarre. So let's just break it down. Let's break down this whole traditional American versus traditional foreign. Let's just break it down. Hmm? The average traditional American woman, right? And there's not that many of them to begin with, right? The vast majority of ladies in the West are, are, are liberal. There's no doubt about this. But let's just break down the Tommy Lawrence. Let's break down all the trad cons that say they are pure and there's plenty of good women and they're amazing and they're stupendous. How come... The vast majority of these are post-wall or about to hit the wall. Hmm? How many of them are loudmouthed? How many of them have body counts? And this is ironic from somebody who just came from Texas, from the South. I've been to the Southern states, guys. I get it. I know you keep saying the same thing, Mr. Hillbilly. Here, Hillbilly Tom, you know, you need to go to Texas. And you need to find yourself a good woman out in the countryside. Okay, that's fantastic, but unfortunately she's going to be missing a few teeth. 
unfortunately, she's probably going to be over the hill too as well. Unfortunately, she still has, unfortunately, the undercurrent, the underbelly of that leftist mentality. Because this is what they are told every friggin' day. What do they do behind the scenes? Well, they have fun when they're young. This is the prevailing attitude. Well, you can find a good one. Why do you keep fighting me on this, son? Why can't you understand that women, you, you just, you're proving to me that you don't understand how women think. They are not fighters. They don't go against the grain. They conform. That is their qualities. Now, let's say, for example, that you, sir, are correct. Let's say you find that unicorn, which, by the way, a unicorn is a mythical creature. So you are proving to me that they don't exist, but let's just say, for argument's sake, you find this. The they are going to break her. She has to fight them every day. She has to fight them telling her, why do you do this for your man? Why do you do X, Y, Z? And by the way, most of these little tradcons only become tradcon after the fact, after they've been had their heart broken, after they've been ran through, after they've had a couple dudes. You're all, look, let me, okay. How often do you, are you guys getting fresh, not ran through meat, for lack of a better term? How often are you guys getting purity? You're getting some dudes left over. I met a guy yesterday, by the way, who actually, I've been selling my stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive I'm moving. So I've been selling a lot of stuff. This guy comes over with his girlfriend and he bought some of my stuff. And his girlfriend, I could tell by the way she was looking at me, I could tell she had been with other dudes before him. He was the consolation prize. Now, it wasn't necessarily the way she looked at me. It was the way she interacted with men. I knew that she had been with a couple dudes in her college days. She had been taking it, you know, taken through the ring or whatever you want. You know, these things were happening. So why is this important? Why is this so important? Because the average Western man settles for damaged leftover you know what damaged leftover you know what that's what they settle for it doesn't matter if they say they're trad con it doesn't matter if they're a good woman all this nonsense they're almost always leftover as you can see saddlebags blown out in almost every scenario that you can count on that you can just count. They have had some sort of trauma. And they'll even tell you this. Well, everybody has trauma. Well, everybody has been ran through. Now you're proving my point. Your average traditional American woman is not traditional at all, guys. Because traditional means one thing and one thing only. She's a virgin marrying a good man and then of course the manifest chick talks about how the average dude who wants a traditional conservative woman is not traditional himself i agree with her on that miss Fan manifest weirdo miss everybody's your bestie you're so full of crap i do with agree with her on that you got a lot of these rp guys that are out here trying to hook up and in the same breath are not traditional themselves. They don't even know how. And it, to, be, to be fair, though, the average guy doesn't have to be traditional at all. In the beginning, he can become traditional pretty quickly. The average woman, though, cannot become traditional. That's the problem, sweetheart. Because either you're a virgin or you're not, and there's no turning back the clock on that one. Now, a guy can actually become traditional because it's more of a mindset. It has nothing to do with his body, and it has nothing to do with his 
finances. I know you love to keep saying that you need to be spoiled, these chicks out here who are trying to ride both sides of the fence, which I warned you guys about. They're going to be conservative one second, and then the next minute they're going to be talking about being spoiled. Being spoiled is not a traditional woman, guys. I got bad news for you. I got bad news for the AWs. That's not being traditional. Okay? It just isn't. Your average AW is not traditional at all. She's not even close to traditional. She rides both sides of the fence, literally. She wants to be liberal one minute and get those benefits, and the next minute she wants to be conservative and get those benefits. Unfortunately, she's getting neither because she is ruining her opportunities. See, that's the truest irony about all this, guys. Is that they're neither, they're, ni they're neither traditional, they're neither, they're nothing. <laughs> they're just in between, floating around in space with their genders. And this is what you get, a bunch of confusion. And of course, the conservative women lash out to as well, the Tommy Lawrence and saying all men are this and all men are that. It's going, guys, there is no difference between the liberal American women and the conservative. And I went over this on a previous stream. This is what you're getting. This is what you're getting. You're getting a bunch of nonsense. You are getting a bunch of lies. You are getting a bunch of chicks who are trying to pull the wool of your eyes in the West. Now, of course, I'm going to get the one traditional woman. She's going to email me. Oh, I can't believe you said that. I'm a virgin. Oh, I can't believe you. I'm the one virgin out here. Really? How much do you weigh? How tall are you? Where do you live? <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere? How does that make any difference whatsoever? Now, what's funny is the vast majority of women that I met when I did go to Texas were conservative. I could tell, but they had ballot accounts under their belt. Not massive amounts, but it is irrelevant, gentlemen. At the end of the day, if you choose a Western woman, you are choosing leftovers. You are choosing another man's leftovers. It's unfortunate. It's sad. But no matter which way you slice it, if you go back to the dating pool, if you go back, like the RP guys keep saying, you know, keep trying and all this, and you got to have game, but kind of go overseas, but kind of don't. This is what you get, gentlemen. This is what you get, a bunch of confusion and failure. You got to pick a lane. I already picked my lane a long time ago, gentlemen. It's either going to be monk mode, it's either going to be traditional foreign, and by the way, even liberal foreign, you're going to be at an advantage because, again, you are in a society that does not support BS, a society that does not support riding both sides of the fence, the society that supports consequences on both ends. I got bad news for my AWs, more bad news. You were sold a bill of goods, number one. But number two, the more you try to get the benefits of both sides, the more you fail at both. And that's just how it goes. And you cannot turn back the clock. Guys don't care about your little, oh, uh, well, you're insecure because I have a body count. It's too late, sweetheart. You made your decision. Now you have to accept. Constant. Gentlemen... And to my ladies and my legionnaires, I've made many mistakes that I cannot undo. I've made many mistakes, and so have you. Whether you know it or not, you've made many mistakes that you cannot undo. Maybe you had kids out of wedlock, and now you're stuck. Maybe you got an STI. Maybe you broke a leg, and now you have a click in your knee. Maybe you did something that ruined a part of your life and you have to accept it. Now, the pro now I know I'm going to you guys are going to be like, okay, he's going to tie this back together. I am going to tie it back together. Those of you that have made bad decisions and cannot accept that it was because of yourself, no matter which way you slice it. Yeah, society told me I could make it, but I really oh, society, 
I get it. There's an element of that, but it really is irrelevant how you came to your conclusion and how you made your mistake. You were the person that did it. And I heard this RP guy recently who was saying, oh, well, it used to be good and it, you used to get a little kick pushback and now they're just, the ladies are just completely off the deep end. Even the traditional ones, they're saying, I want an eight-figure guy. It was always there. This past six, seven decades. It's just that it was never as extreme as now. Because now women in the West are out of options. They've ran out of options. They don't have options, gentlemen. The options they have are right here on their phone. Once they turn this phone off, there's nothing. How many options do you little ladies have? I want you to press this little power button and then tell me how many options you really have. Hmm? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Oh, wait. That's right. Nothing. Now, this is the problem with the average Tradcon. Traditional conservative American woman. She doesn't have any options, guys. You keep being told that she does by RP dudes. She doesn't have any, son. Because first of all, the vast majority of men are walked away. See, what people don't understand is that there are ramifications on both sides. The average AW, who is traditional conservative, wants to settle down and do all these things, right? Even though she's probably had a few bodies and she's got a couple little tattoos, which is the vast majority of Tradcons I've met in my entire life. But it's cool. Look, let's just say they do want to settle down. There's nobody there to settle down with anyway. Because they've been told that their standards need to be higher by the liberal growth. Do you see how it's a vicious cycle? It's a conundrum, guys. They can't get out of it. They're stuck. The average guy who's traditional conservative, he's already checked out. He's celibate. He's going overseas. He's ultra-religious. He likes the structure. He likes the rules. It's too late to my trad cons. You can't pull the wool over their eyes anymore. And even when you did back in the day, here's the biggest irony of all of everything I've talked about today. Go ahead and hit that like button as you guys come in. I appreciate the likes. You've got trad con women getting divorced in their 40s, 50s, 60s. And getting out onto the dating marketplace and getting ran through and then kick right back out to the curve and then regretting their divorce. What do you guys see in social media over and over and over again? I regret divorcing my husband. I regret. I regret. Give me attention. I regret divorcing my husband. Please take me back. Getting to the court of public opinion to try to garner favor. First of all, bait and switching their man. Ruining their family. Then going to the court of public opinion out on the internet to try to garner sympathy for something they did. And then, of course, all the simps come out, oh, that's so sad. And then they get roasted on the other side. My point is, gentlemen, the game is over. Trad cons ruined it for themselves. Liberal girls ruined it for themselves. It's too late. Now, for those of you who say, oh, they'll always find a simp. No, they won't, guys. I got bad news for them. For all the RP guys, oh, they'll always find a simp. No, they won't, son. You, you really don't know what you're talking. You're really behind. If you're one of those dudes who keeps saying they're going to find a simp always, no, they won't. You don't get it, guys. They're going to ruin any opportunity they have because that's all they know. If you really want to know the crux of Western women's problems, is all they know how to do is generate failure. That's what they've learned. That's what they know. That is their mechanism. When a loser loses, they deflect. When a loser loses and does something stupid, they blame it on everybody else. And then what they do is they garner sympathy from people who are also losers. And then they go back to making stupid decisions. 
And then they blame everybody else for when they make those stupid decisions. And then they go back to everybody who's going to make them feel better. And then they start making stupid decisions. You want to know why I know? Because I used to be one of these people. It's called the failure triangle. And this is the conundrum. This is what the trad cons are in. This is what the liberal girls are in. In the West, they can't get out of it. It's too late, guys. Hit that like button as you come in. I appreciate the likes. I apologize for the noise, but I'm going to be moving soon and there won't be nearly as much. It's too late, gentlemen. They bit off more than they could chew. Now they're stuck. This is your average Tradcon. Doesn't matter which, gentlemen, it doesn't matter if they tell you that they're religious because religion right now is about as weak as it could get in the West. Religion tells them that they can do whatever they want with zero repercussions. Again, the failure triangle. The church is part of this failure pyramid. Society, part of this failure pyramid. The Sips, their girlfriends. All over here on the left of this failure triangle. Then they go off and do more stupid things. They become single mothers. They say, oh, I'm so much happier. And then reality comes crashing down every time. Every time the Tommy Lawrence go out here and try to upgrade and tell guys that I'm so successful and I'm a catch and all this stuff. She's the exact same as the left girls. How are you different from the left? You're not. You're the exact same, except you claim to be politically different. Ouch. Oh, I got your number. I got all your little ladies' numbers. And it ain't easy either. I mean, it isn't, it isn't that difficult. Even with my goofy sun hat, I could still pull. So what? It's irrelevant. What are you really getting at the end of the day? Not quality. Ouch. Ooh, that one burns. It stings. Oh, I don't like that. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Okay, maybe I'll resubscribe. Beep. That's what's out here. The trad con, emphasis on con, which is uh, actually short for confidence. You know a con man? That's what a trad con is, unfortunately. Lady in the West. A confidence woman trying to bait and switch you at any moment because they've got nothing else, gentlemen. Now, you could say till you're blue in the face, oh, well, you're bitter and hurt and all this other stuff. Go ahead. Believe what you want to believe. Or you can actually look at reality. You could put your head in the sand for as long as you want, but as soon as you come up for air, you are going to get faced with reality, son. Traditional conservative women in the West are neither. And that's just how it's going to be for the next three generations or so, give or take. Give it about three generations, all right? Two to three. And then you ask yourself, okay, well, if that's true, what are my options? Well, obviously, your options are, yeah, I mean, look, you could get with the trad. Look, guys, you can be Mr. Leftover if you want. You could take the risk. You can go to a state like Texas. Right? With a lower divorce rate because it's more expensive to get divorced. You can do that. But of course, you're taking a massive risk and the average guy will tell you not to do it. Because he knows instinctively, deep down, it's a bad idea. He knows it's a bad idea. And guys, a few guys are going to take the risk. A few guys are going to take the plunge. A few guys are going to understand that they are now caught in a misery loop. But unfortunately... The vast majority of these trad cons aren't getting married anytime soon because they've already shot themselves in the foot. Now, again, for the ones that are actual virgins out there, to my one less than 0.0001% who, uh, you know, they hit me up and they say, well, I am a virgin. What do I do? Go back to my saving trad con women stream. Okay? Because you won't be here in the West. You're not going to be winning out here in the West, sweetheart. Because the average guy in general isn't traditional conservative here anyway, and even if he is, he's not waiting for you. He's not biding his time. Guys are very, very strategic. They understand numbers even when they're not very bright. They understand. They crunch the numbers in their head and they realize, wait a minute, I'm better off just being alone, 
staying single, or if I get a little bit of cash, if I get a passport, I can just upgrade. And that's where you little ladies are stuck. You're stuck in a society that won't let you win. You're stuck in a society with friends around you. And, fa and by the way, I haven't even mentioned your family who has set you up for failure since the beginning, usually. Usually. Who told you that you could do whatever you want and you're a little princess and you're a little queen and all this. I got bad and your, you know, your mom broke up your family and now she's a single mom and all this. I got bad news for you. Your family's just as culpable. But at the center of it all, you are the problem. So how do you make yourself the solution? You're going to have to leave. You're going to have to leave this, this society that keeps perpetuating your failure. And that brings me to the average traditional foreign woman. She's given the opportunity every day to succeed. That's why she's happy. That's why guys overseas have no problem with guys getting married. Haven't you ever noticed that Western guys get really upset when, a dude, when one of his buddies is about to get married? Why does he do that? Why does he do that in the West? Why has that been the ideal? Why has that been the norm for decades? For generations. Because there is no upside. There is only downside to him getting married in the West. But how come when you go overseas, the average guy is married and the other guys around him are very happy for it? Because they know he's winning. And they know that she's winning. It's a win-win situation. We're so used to taking losses in the West and being losers in the West that when you see somebody happy, with a good family overseas, it's kind of a shock. When you see a man and a woman walking along, holding hands, when they have the little baby next to them and the little toddler's walking and it's the cutest thing you've ever seen, it's kind of, an, uh, it's kind of unnerving. Because the woman is not bad-mouthing her man. She is not on her phone with her face buried in there, trying to see what other options she has. She's actually paying attention to her husband. She is serving her husband. He is serving God. And the kids are serving the, the mom. That's how it goes, guys. This is what you see overseas. You don't see the wife disrespect, openly disrespecting her husband. How can you call yourself a tradcon? You fake, phony, Western AWs. How dare you call yourself a tradcon and then badmouth men? How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself for calling yourself a traditional conservative. How dare you call yourself a traditional conservative and have a body count? How dare you call yourself a traditional conservative and not be a virgin? With tattoos on your legs and your hips and your, you know. Miss, I'm not even, you know, I'm an atheist. How can you call yourself traditional conservative? That makes no freaking sense. You're the biggest liars on the planet. And by the way, I'm not even religious. <sighs> anyway, you go overseas, and now you see families everywhere. You see women who are in shape. You see women who are paying attention to their husband. You see women that are smiling all the time. You see women that aren't on the dating marketplace. You see women that aren't dressed like thoughts. You see women with zero tattoos everywhere. You see appreciative husbands who love their wives. You see appreciative wives who love their husbands. And they say it out loud. They would never badmouth their husband in a million years. And you see open disrespect in the West because simps tolerate it. RP guys are just as bad. They're just as bad. Go keep hooking up. What are you doing, dummy? Mr. I want to help men. You're telling men to screw themselves more. To take more risks. To keep telling AWs that they're doing the perfect things. What the hell's the matter with you? I was ripping into these RP dudes yesterday. I'm getting sick and tired of them. Well, you're all RP. Son, I'm a passport king, whatever you want to call me. I don't care what you call me. But boy, oh boy, are these guys misguided. 
and I'm soon to be an expat. It's called an expatriate. Somebody who has left their country and living in another. And that's the way it's going to be. Because I understand that the West is pretty much done. The game is over. That's it, guys. It's been nice knowing you. I'm out. This is just how it goes. So you look at the average Westerner who's too lazy to leave and, you know, I'm RP and I'm going to keep hooking up and eventually I'll settle down, but I'm going to use these girls for practice. Look, guys, I know what you're thinking. I did it before myself, but it wasn't a good idea. Hooking up for all those years screwed myself and those chicks. Hit that like button as you come in. You want to know how... There's like a little hair there. What the hell is that all about? Now, why did it screw me over? Well, because it wasn't focused on my purpose. How did it screw the chicks over? Well, now we got more liberal women who've been ran through. Back out on the market. I'm telling them that their behavior is okay by hooking up with them. To the RP dudes who keep talking about hookups, you are reinforcing their bad behavior. What you are doing is you are telling them that their behavior is okay. You are telling them to get more angry at men. That's the problem with hookups, guys. And I used to be a big hookup guy. I would hook up all the time. And guess what? It screwed my life over more because now I'm set back years and it screwed her life over more because now she thinks she can get to me. She thinks she can get a relationship because no matter which way you slice it, guys, you are creating more bitter, angry, you know what? Every time you hook up, every time you go on a date, you are creating more of the damaged chicks that you guys say you despise, say that are 304s. You're the problem. Just as much as I was the problem, just as much as they're the problem. Don't, don't make any mistake. You are just as culpable, Mr. Hookup. Mr. I'm going to get, uh, get a rotation. Mr. Game Guy, you're just as bad. Don't be, don't even kid yourself for a millisecond. Mr. I'm going to hook up with fat chicks. Oh, well, now you're telling them they can get a high, higher status, high value dude. Brilliant work, son. What does this have to do with trad cons? Oh, dude, this guy's going to get in big trouble. He's riding around without a helmet. Can't be doing that, guys. Not in SoCal. Must be from out of state. Police down here don't play. But anyway. What does this have to do with trad con, bro? You're creating less trad cons every time you hook up, dummy. Mr. I want a conservative woman. Well, now you're creating less of them. Don't you get it? Putting two and two together. Anyway. You go overseas. Now you see families. You see the father holding the little baby's hand as they're walking along. You see the wife being attentive. You see actual, functional, normal, healthy people. We have had so many generations of dysfunctional families in this society that it's comical at this point. It's a joke at this point. The dysfunctional family is now the norm in the West. Get over it. This is what is real in the West. The dysfunctional family, the, what is it called? The uh, rationalized family. Everybody's a mess. Everybody's fighting. The kids are rebelling. It's an absolute cluster F. You go overseas, it's the exact opposite. You go to a conservative country and everybody's living in harmony. They have their ups and downs. God, I can't wait to move out of this freaking city. I go, You know the city I went to, guys, that I'm probably going to move to? So much less cars, quiet, respectful people. Anyway, every time I've gone overseas, and I'm going overseas again, I'm going back, obviously, and then I'm going to move. Women are respectful to the guys. The guys are respectful to the girls. No friction. They're going to have their ups and downs. But your average traditional foreign woman... 
lives in a society that supports her ideologies. Now, what happens when you take that traditional foreign woman and you bring her to the West? Well, a lot of guys say the same thing. She's just coming for a green card. She's going to get Americanized. Yes, if she's really, really young or she has a crappy life, she's going to look for a green card. Yes, but you're going to know right off the bat. Now, let's say she is traditional foreign and she's not budging. She's over the age of 18. She already knows how things go and she's not dealing with any of that crap. She's going to be miserable in the West. Why? Because the Western society tells her to be liberal every day. Western society tells her to be a thought. Western society tells her to take off her clothes. Western society tells her to break up with you every day. This is the problem, gentlemen. So you can take it any way you'd like, but the average trad con woman in the West is the same as the average liberal woman in the West. But the traditional foreign woman is so set in her way. She is so conservative. She understands family. She wants to have children. She wants to take care of her family. That she cannot handle the West. Do not bring your little trad, your uh, traditional foreign woman here. Because all she's going to do is be traumatized. She's going to be sad. She's going to be isolated. She's going to be away from all the people she loves and that love her. Is this what you, is this what you guys have earned in the West, guys? A bunch of buffaloes? Hmm? Is, that, is that what you've earned? A bunch of mouthy, loud buffaloes? You can't shut up? You want to hear that every day? Anyway. A bunch of gender-bending weirdos. Nobody knows who they are. A bunch of identity politics. <laughs> Guys, did you see... <laughs> to my Legionnaires, did you see that Marvels movie or whatever? <laughs> the Marvels. By the way, check out Ryan Long, guys. Ryan Long. He, he doesn't advertise on here, but I really like him as a YouTuber. He is hysterically funny. He's actually a comedian. And man, I'm telling you guys, his stuff is absolutely hysterically funny. He's really good. And he, <laughs> he went to go see the Marvels movie and he was the only one in the theater. He's so funny, man. I like him. And he's like, oh God, they broke box office records. This is the greatest movie of all time. And he's just roasting them. Just filleting these. <laughs> oh, it was the funniest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> anyway, if you do want to meet traditional, foreign, happy, bubbly ladies, you can click the link in the description. Right? I'm testing out this uh, affiliate, and I've actually been on their site. It's not. It's not too shabby. I have to admit. A lot of these girls are Christian. Again, though, guys, you need to be discerning. You need to make sure if you're going to get a traditional Filipina that they're not a single mom, right? All the stuff I've talked about on my Go Foreign series. But, man, it's just scary at this point in time. And that's the whole, that's the biggest problem in the West. You don't know who the trad cons are or who the liberal girls are. It, it, they're all the same. So, it is disturbing. But yeah, you go overseas, you see families walking around, you go to Mexico, you see moms holding the little kids' hands and the fathers. That, you want to know what's funny is the families I see here in the West, you know, in, in general, you see the families in the West, it's usually a mom and her kids. And there's no father to be found. He's been kicked out of the family. He's been... You know, he's been essentially been removed. And that's essentially what happens in the West. No, the father doesn't leave. He is removed from the family. And then the woman becomes the devouring mother, right? She becomes all uncomfortable. And you see it all the time in the black community. Black community, whatever you want to call it. You see it all the time. That devouring mother, right? She becomes, she wants her children to essentially replace the, uh, the would-be husband or would-be father. And it's really disturbing. Guys, you never see, you rarely see that overseas. Your exception being maybe the Philippines. 
yeah. right? But at, in the same breath, in the Philippines, there's tons of single women without kids. And that's one of the only reasons I was talking to this sponsor. That's one of the only reason I put the link in the description is because, to be honest, guys, Filipinas are hard to beat. They really are. And I've been talking about it before I even had them as a sponsor. Filipinas in general, I would say the most experience I had to have out of any race, any society in general, culture, it's been Filipino, it's been Filipino culture, uh, and Mexican culture. And a close third would be Korean culture. How you ask? Because so many of them move to Los Angeles. It's not even funny. They have whole cities of Koreans. They have whole cities. I'm not making this up of Filipinos. Whole cities. Like literally, that's, that's all that's there. So anyway, you can do a lot worse than a Filipina. So check them out. Click the link in the description. Meet your Filipina if that's what you're into. Or you can get some little Kaylee's on an e-bike. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going fast. <laughs> Kaylee's are cute. Uh, what are you doing, Kaylee? Oh. Mm. <laughs> little Kaylee's. They're cute. So the traditional foreign. What are the differences? Well, the difference is are their upbringing. The differences are that they have a, mo a mother and father to teach them right and wrong. They have a mother and father to protect them from themselves. They have all the abilities of the AWs from the past AWs. Because what a lot of guys don't know is that women in the 60s and 50s, early 60s and 50s, used to be wholesome. They used to be traditional. The vast majority of them were married. The vast majority of them were in relationships. The vast majority of them actually took care of their men and their families and were taken care of in return. And that's why you see so many of these women trying to ride by both sides of the fence. That manifest chick keeps talking about how men, you know, women who are wives and all this need to be paid with their worth. What she fails to let the little ladies know because she glosses over everything just like the vast majority of these geniuses is that they're getting their rent paid. They're getting their rent paid they're getting everything pretty much taken care of for them. The groceries, the light bill, the electricity, which is the vast majority of what you're going to be paying. And yet in the same breath, she keeps saying that women aren't being paid with their worth in the household and they were sold a bill of goods. Well, you're not even a wife anyway, sweetheart. So sit your ass down. Number one. And number two, you have all your bills paid. And you want a salary on top of that? This is the level of emptiness that's inside the average Western woman. Ouch. Let's just be real. The average Western AW is empty inside because they were not able to secure the first man that they were with's validation and attention. Ouch. They couldn't keep him. And now they are forever empty. Always bitter. Always hurt. Always looking for the next man to fulfill what they could not get from the first and being hurt again and again and being kicked to the side of the road and crying and miserable and trying to find happiness by having a kid out of wedlock. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Everything is about, the, and one of her videos was interesting. It was about her trying to decentralize from men and telling women how to get away from men and do you understand the levels of hurt and pain and anger and just rejection that this sad, sad individual is perpetuating? And in the same breath, she wants women to do nothing and be feminine and conservative. Do you see the constant paradox, the constant talking out of both sides of their mouth? And this is why they're failing, guys. Western women are a joke worldwide. And it's sad. Here comes a little Kaylee right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Get the hell away from me, dude. <sighs> the average Western woman is trash, man. That's just how it goes. 
and they have to you, they have to deal with it. Jesus Christ, will you go away? Look at her. Jesus Christ. She's a little lingling. She needs constant attention. Probably Americanized. She's showing off all her body, of course. I'm not interested, sweetheart. You're not hot enough for me. Trust me. You're not hot enough. He's not looking at me. No, I'm not looking at you, and I'm not interested. <laughs> need constant attention. <sighs> it's okay, though, guys. It is what it is. She was an Americanized Ling Ling. You could tell, guys. I don't care if she had a nice body. I don't care. <laughs> Why do I care? The, the, when so many thirsty eight American men, their biggest problem is they they don't they've been taught to believe that pretty girls are above them, that women who are in shape are above them, that they somehow deserve deserve all this crap. You know what's really funny? Pretty girls are a dime a dozen worldwide. They're literally a dime a dozen everywhere, guys. No matter where you go, you're going to meet pretty women. It doesn't matter if you're in a small... In the bigger major metropolitan areas, you're going to see more of them. But in general, they're pretty much everywhere. And the irony is you're going to have a shot at them, whether you believe it or not. Because traditional foreign women don't care about all the things that Western women supposedly care about that they constantly tout as things that they want. The six sixes, the eight sixes, and all this. There's none of that. You know what it is? A traditional foreign woman wants the things that she knows are going to keep her family going. She wants a good man. She wants a man who leads, provides, and protects, essentially takes over from where her father left off. And the irony is the average Western guy can do this if he chooses to. If he chooses to eventually just relax and become more conservative. He knows he can do this. And unfortunately, your average Western thought cannot. Okay? They can't because they've been taught to be, you know what. That's what they're taught, All right? But overseas, it's completely different. The family unit is stronger. There's less. Oh God damn it! I'm trying to go around, but I can't. Hold on a sec, guys. This is pissing me off. <sighs> it's quieter right now, probably because everybody's at work, except me. <laughs> yeah, traditional foreign though. They're taught to be free. Yeah, right. Traditional foreign are taught to be good women. And in return, they will get a good man. God damn it, go away, Asian thought. Okay, she's she's going away. That's good. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You wanna know what's funny? The amount Go ahead and hit that like button as you guys come on in. I appreciate it. The amount of Western thoughts that just look down at their phone, they're literally stuck looking down all the time. Whew. It's just crazy, man. Ooh. Get this, guys. Oh. Oh, look at this. I got a location. <laughs> They're, they're, they're guys, the place that I'm moving to, they're clamoring for my business. It's green. <laughs> oh, I love it. See, on this channel, we win. Guys, if you follow it, what we're doing over here, you're going to win. You want to know why? Because I've made all the mistakes for you. I literally have made all the mistakes for you. You don't need to make any of these mistakes. You don't need to learn the hard way. You don't need to do any of that. You want to know why? Because there's no point in swimming where other men have drowned. You see that ocean way out there? You see that ocean way out there? I've been drowning out there many, many times. When you guys see me drowning, you don't need to go out there and swim there. There's no point. The fish out there aren't better. Oh, there's some little Kaylee's. Holy mackerel. Jesus. Jesus. Freaking. Oh, my God. Guys, when Kaylee... Oh, my Jesus. Holy moly. Those girls are in tip-top physical condition. See, it's funny, but they don't even need to have the perfect face. Just have a great body. Holy. I've been drowning out there for years, gentlemen. 
I've been drowning out in that sea. You don't need to go out there and drown. It's not necessary. You follow what we're doing over here, and all of a sudden you start swimming with the best fish on the planet. You don't need to be with a tatted up spot with tats showing off her dis oh. oh, with their rolls popping out. <clears throat> Seriously, guys. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy, 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 crazy. You guys really want to drown out there? You really want to test your metal? Well, so why do guys do it? Why do they keep going back to the AWs? And Well, I talked about this in my last stream. They have low self-esteem, gentlemen. Why do guys keep going back to AWs and trying to make it work and you need to settle down with them and all that? Low self-esteem. Why do they keep going back to AWs when they know they're no bueno? When they know that they're bottom of the barrel. They know it deep. Guys, they know it deep down. They know they're not dealing with A-plus chicks. And they keep going back and chasing. And because the power of testosterone is very high. The power of testosterone is very high. Mixed with low self-esteem. Mixed with told every day that you're dying. All these things in conjunction. Oh, God. There's so many... Freaking normies. Mixed, you mix all these things together. Lower te And then, of course, lower T. <laughs> mixed with T. <laughs> all these factors. And your average dude is just like, okay, fine. I'll swim out into the ocean and drown. The good news is enough guys are drowning out there that now, finally, guys are saying, okay, Maybe I shouldn't go out there. And enough guys are saying, I don't even want to swim anymore. I don't even, I don't even want to swim in that ocean. I don't, even, I, I don't even have the energy to go out there and get those fish. The vast majority of men in the West are over it. The great news is, though, that have more options than anybody else on this entire planet. You want to know what's really intriguing? Your average Western guy has more options than anybody else on this entire planet. It's insane. Now, the average man has a ton of options. There's no doubt about it. That's why foreign guys are so chill. When you meet foreign guys, gentlemen, when you make foreign buddies, they are chill. They're relaxed. They're, they're cool with you. You're cool with them. They're not in a rush. They don't feel any pressure. They don't try to, you know, fight with you or any of this stuff. You want to know why, guys? Because they know they got all the options. Isn't that a trip? <laughs> it just makes me laugh. And you want to know something else. What I find funny about these streams is the amount of guys who just listen to me in the background because they're working, because they're on their purpose, because they're already focused. It's funny. Some streams, nobody comments at all because they're so focused on what they're doing. That's what I find funny about these streams. find it very ironic. Or what you guys could do is chase a bunch of this. Eight-figure houses. Places that most normal men will never be able to afford in their entire lifetime. Just to get yourself a ran through Kaylee. A trad con. A woman who says she's conservative and yet... It adheres to none of these values other than her political affiliation. She's probably never cooked a meal in her life. She's probably none, never done anything that actually translates to conservative behavior or traditional behavior. But she's going to tell you that she's traditional. I don't think so. <laughs> you know what? I might go swimming today, guys. I kind of feel like swimming, though. <laughs> Ironically. But you don't have to make my mistakes, guys. You do not have to do it. I, man, there's a couple of guys that I listened to that I dodged a bunch of bullets because of them. But honestly, I could have listened a little more. There were a few things I could have listened on and really just avoided even that much more problems. I could have avoided a lot of pitfalls, but I didn't. And now I got to make up for it, guys. That's why I'm in monk mode. I got to catch up on all the years I missed. And the irony is the traditional... See, here's what's really funny. 
your average average dude in the West thinks he shouldn't get a pretty girl. He thinks he shouldn't get a beautiful woman. He thinks that that's out of his league. And yet they are more accessible overseas than you could ever imagine. In your side. It's so funny. I was talking to this little Thai chick. Shout out to her. I called her Tiny Tan. And she was, guys, she, even if you, look, even if you're not into Asian, she was very pretty. And guys, I know that there's some of these RP guys get on here and they say, oh, that girl was a 10 and all this stuff. Look, guys, I'm a very, I'm pretty picky. I'm not going to lie to you. And before I used to have very low standards, just like your average, you know, Western dude. But what's up? You're walking. How do you like your shoes? Oh, they're freaking awesome, man. You look great. I five mean, five finger shoes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I help straighten your toes out too, maybe. Oh yeah, man. It's like a it's like a sandal mixed with like um I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's working your feet too hard. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Makes your feet stronger, better balance, coordination, all that stuff. Oh, sorry to interrupt. No, no worries, dude. Have a great Thank you. Have a good one, man. <laughs> nice guy. Very cool, man. He wanted to know about my crazy wild shoes. Some people are nice in LA, guys. Some people are nice. The vast majority are kind of anti-social weirdos, but, you know. When I went to Texas, everybody was nice to me, friendly, normal, not awkward. Ah. But anyway, Tiny Tan. She was just... <laughs> she was, guys... Okay, so the standard... My, my, I'm, much more, I'm much more picky. And I should have held my standards... High school standards were on point, and I, I betrayed my standards and all this. God, I wish I hadn't done that. That was the dumbest thing I ever did, guys, is betray my high standards in high school. Anyway, so this traditional foreign woman overseas, Tiny Tan, is probably like 5'1", maybe like 100 pounds. She's tiny. And she was the cutest little thing. I still have, I think I have pictures of her. Man, she was funny. Anyway, we'd video conference, video chat before this whole AI thing, and we would video chat. And guys, she would go out. <laughs> I'm not making this up. She lived in Pattaya. This is kind of north of Bangkok. And she would be herding water buffaloes. I'm not making this up. This is a big joke, you know, in Thailand that they're you know, they have to deal with water buffaloes. She literally was doing it. I saw her doing it with her little, with her little pointy hat on. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. And she went out and she would fish with her sisters. It was crazy. I was going, what the hell is happening? And I was talking to her during the cough. That whole period, and I was like, God, I gotta get out of Thailand. Then I was talking to another uh, woman in Chiang Mai. And these girls were traditional, yet they wanted to have mixed babies, right? Blue-eyed babies, which in all reality is very rare. Because you have to, ha it's a recessive gene, which they don't know, but. But it was funny because this girl didn't understand divorce. She didn't understand this concept. She was probably close to an LA 8 with no makeup. Close, close. Let's just say adjustable six. Let's, uh, if I'm going to be very, but she was very pretty, guys. Long hair, beautiful smiles. Like, oh my God. Yeah. So what am I getting at? This is the average over there. She said all the time, she's like, I am just average. I am average Thai girl. I am not pretty. And do you think I was going to argue with her? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you think I was going to argue with her about her assessment of herself and be a simp? Now, a couple of times I was like, oh, well, you're, you know, you're cute. And I'll get down, you know, eventually I'll get down there. But, you know, look, guys. I'm not going to freaking be, what is it called, waiting with a month's worth of, what's it called, uh, quarantine. See, this is what you get in the West, guys. Some chunky, is this what you guys have earned right here? Is that what you've earned? A bunch of chunky, chunk, oh. Shout out to her for running, though, look. Shout out to her for running with her dog. You see what I'm saying? Dogs. Anyway, the average traditional form woman overseas is more pretty. Why is this? Because they tend to procreate with prettier people. The uglier women procreate less. Therefore, the prettier genetics move on. In the West, guys are shooting for bottom of the barrel. 
Anyway, their genetics are just stronger over there because they're shooting for higher, their, their standards for perfection are much higher overseas, guys. That's how it is. And you can argue and say, well, they get more plastic surgery. Hey, they get plenty of plastic surgery in the West. What's your point? What we're getting at is the average traditional foreign woman is superior and society supports her. Society supports her ideologies. So, so society supports her efforts. Society takes care of her. There were AWs in Thailand. Oh, yeah, man. Maybe I misspoke. My bad. But yeah, there are American women in Thailand. Guys, you can look this up. There are American women in Thailand that are extraordinarily jealous. When I was in China, there were American women that were extraordinarily jealous. When I was in Macau, women that were extraordinarily jealous. Mexico, AWs everywhere, guys. Now, are they the majority? Oh, hell no. They're usually out there for work. Not usually by vacation, though. My bad if I misspoke, but the traditional foreign women in all these countries are just vastly superior. Oh, I forgot. I actually spoke to a traditional foreign woman in Korea during the cough. I, I spent a lot of time in these video chats since that's what everybody was doing anyway. And so what I was doing was video chatting worldwide, local and worldwide. And guys, I was getting really annoyed with the local chicks, obviously, because we already have established the Western women are liberal across the board. It doesn't matter if they say they're conservative and they go to church. Like with you, Jake Judy, do you think they're going to church and espousing good Christian beliefs? No, they're not. They're busy talking about thoughting. Anyway, hit that like button as you guys come in. What I see is, oh, I was talking to this Korean and she was from a little bit of south of Seoul and she was very pretty. And I was like, oh crap. And she's like, my parents are very strict. And I said, really, you little Korean bubble? And she's like, I will make you kimchi. They always lead with their hearts. They lead with all these things. That's just how it goes. How many guys have you kissed? Oh, I have never had a boyfriend. I am very shy. This is what you guys get overseas. Eastern European, it's the same thing over and over. The couple from Bulgaria, the first Bulgarian couple I've ever met, actually first Bulgarian chick I ever met, green eyes. It was crazy. And she had brown, light brown hair, green eyes. I was like, what the hell is happening? It looked like little emeralds. I was like, what is that? And they were getting married. What a surprise. This is my only boyfriend. What a surprise. Here are my sisters. Would you like any of them? What are you even... What? <laughs> what, what the hell is happening? She's trying to pawn off some of her sisters onto me. Are they virgins? This is what happens when you're dealing with traditional foreign women. The mindset is different. The society is different. The men are different. Everything is different. They are set up for success. If they want to have a job on the... You, you don't want to know what's really funny to the AWs who, who shame traditional foreign women. I got bad news for you. A lot of these girls can work. A lot of these girls support the family on the side because it's so easy to do housework. Ouch. They are so adept. They are so good at cleaning the house at cooking, at doing all these things. They've got all this extra time. They get bored. They don't want to, they want to go have like a little office job or something. Isn't that crazy? This is your average. She wants to contribute to helping the freaking family succeed. She is enjoying it. Miss, you just want a slave. I got bad news for you. They're happier than you. Ouch. Let's just be real, gentlemen. Traditional foreign women are 850,000% happier than AWs. I don't care if they're trad con. You can tell me to your blue in the face that this girl's a trad con over here with her tattoos and her body. Oh, I'm conservative. Oh. Oh. F guys. Ugh. 
I'll never forget the last TradCon American woman I went out with, guys. She had a little tattoo right here of a little arrow right underneath her, you know what? She had a little tattoo of this arrow, and I was like, uh-huh. And she goes, oh, I'm traditional. Oh, wouldn't you want somebody to come home to who is just at your beck and call? And she was, you know, bait and switching. She was trying the bait and switch, you know, the uh, w what they call love bombing. Touching me all the time, gently and smiling. Gentlemen, it was all a ruse. What had happened? She had divorced her husband because he was too this and he was too that. Oh, you poor victim. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and hook up with you. You see how I was part of the problem? Every time you hook up with these chicks, guys, you're sending them the wrong message. Whew. Anyway. Jake Judy, traditional form women are worth the weight. Yeah, exactly. It's a trade-off. It's a trade-off, gentlemen. These squirrels are aggressive. It must be, it must be in the rut. In the rut. Yeah, they're all, they're worth the wait, gentlemen. They're worth putting in the effort because the payoff is greater. You're delaying your own gratification to be with somebody who's superior in every way. Yeah, the Bulgarian chick was very nice. She, she was really, really, she was on point. She cooked for her boyfriend. They were getting married, all this other stuff. She had a great attitude. She kept showing me uh, pictures of her, her, um, what's it called? Her home life and, you know, very beautiful, a little bit old, a little bit rustic area, but regardless, just superior mindset. They have a, let's just be honest, guys. Traditional foreign women have a winner's mindset. They have a can do attitude. All the Western girls, unfortunately, it's a manifest mindset. It's a loser mentality, do nothing. That manifest chick, her most popular video was do nothing to become more feminine. I'm not making this up. This is the advice they give each other. And this is what you want to pair bond with, gentlemen? You want to get with a woman in the West with this many problems? Okay, I mean, that's your decision. But you're never going to convince me that they have turned the corner, that somehow they are not chameleons for the next three generations. It's too late to my TradCon AWs. I know I'm going to get an email. I usually get like one email from TradCons of some virgin chick. She's out in the middle of Louisiana, like out in the sticks. They never send a photo either. I wonder why. <laughs> this <tra> <laughs> uh, It's funny. Check it out, guys. Beautiful. Hit that like button as you guys come in. I really appreciate your likes. Your likes are what make my streams possible. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I really do, guys. It's unbelievable. <laughs> your average Tradcon. Your average Tradcon chick is over the hill. It's so funny. Oh, I feel bad. Oh. Are you okay, little AWs? You need a little hug? You need a little need a little pat on the head? You need a little hug? It's okay. Come here. There, 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 there. Just let it all out. Go ahead and you can cry on my shoulder. Just go ahead and let it all out. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sick of the noise in LA. I cannot wait to move. You guys are going to love the new location I am at. They're beautiful. Guys, there's going to be water most likely where I'm moving to. Which, dude, there's freaking deer everywhere. It's insane. Anyway, freaking deer eating out of my hand. It was insane. I was like, what the hell is that? I could literally, you know, take care of this deer real quick and uh, be serving up venison by lunch. Anyway. Noise, noise, noise. I can't wait to move. Oh, look at all these guys. Look at all these boats that never go anywhere. Look at all these boats. Yeah, never even move. Now I have the right. It's insane. Just sit there. So your average Tradcon AW is the exact same as your liberal. She just have a, she's the same as a liberal woman. She just has a different political affiliation. Oh, wow. You really changed my mind. <laughs> Miss, I'm not a virgin with my little heart tattoo. You know, I divorced my husband. Oh, anyway. Well, you got your average trad con, uh, traditional foreign woman. Bubbly, bouncy, happy, smiling all the time. <sighs> As I talked to you guys about the last Korean I was with, the last Colombiana, tip top physical condition beautiful faces and i was like you know what i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna take i'm gonna go into monk mode i'm gonna chill i'm gonna chill and i'm going to upgrade 
<laughs> you want to know what's funny, guys? Every time you go into monk mode, you're actually going to be able to upgrade later on down the line because you're delaying your gratification and you're putting your energy into succeeding. If you're an actor, whatever, you're a singer, you're a musician, every time you say no to these broads and you put your energy into your craft, you are actually succeeding. You're actually going to get a better traditional form woman later on. Because you're delaying your gratification, because you are forgoing that. You are increasing the opposite. This is you. You're always moving up. You are going this way, towards the stratosphere. You are going up here, Mr. I'm waiting. Mr. I'm holding all that energy in. Mr. I'm not going to give in and settle for some four. I wish I had never done that, guys, when I was a teen. I wish I had kept my standards right where they were but that's okay learning curve traditional four woman she is the payoff she's a byproduct of your efforts she is going to be all over you she is going to want to take care of you ah it's a learning curve oh uh, let's see uh chat con sounds like the name of a comic-con convention yeah literally and you want to know what's funny? They do have TradCon conventions. I'm not making this up where they actually like, oh, we're good women. We're virtuous. And nobody shows up. No dudes show up. <laughs> oh, are you heading to Indiana? Uh, no, but I'm definitely going to a red state first. And then, like I said, guys, I got to go overseas. We're going overseas. Okay. I've had enough. But first, I want to go to a red state. Uh, save up money. First, save up. As I've talked to you guys about many times, make sure my plan to uh, various countries is supported, my businesses are flourishing, and then it's just pick one. And when I do vlogs overseas, when I get back to overseas, I'm going to vlog overseas, and you guys are going to be able to, I'm going to interview traditional foreign women so you guys can see what's going on, right? And you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to freaking love it. You're going to be like, holy cow, these girls are amazing. Maybe I'll interview a couple fugly ones, average ones, above average, and then really hot ones. Version, yeah. Waiting like Richard Marx. Oh, yeah, wasn't that an old 80s song? Isn't that an old 80s song? I can't remember. <laughs> so, yeah, most likely what I'll do is I will vlog in. Uh, it's going to be the Philippines, Thailand, Colombia, maybe Mexico. Maybe I'll go back to Mexico. Maybe, maybe. I kind of been to Mexico so many times. It's not. It, it doesn't really get my. Doesn't get me excited or anything. Maybe, maybe, maybe Guadalajara, somewhere more remote. Right, somewhere a little more off the beaten path. Maybe, Let's see, but definitely uh, back to Hong Kong. I can't vlog from China, guys, but I'll be able to upload videos. Right? Uh, because China, to be honest with you guys, I, I know you think I'm crazy. I know you, I get these keep, guys keep saying psyops and all this crap, but I'm just saying, China, China owes a lot, owns a lot of our land already. You might want to take a look at it. Because those little Chinese is, they're very sweet and very soft. And there's a lot of them. But if you guys are more into Eastern European, yes, I'm going to go to Eastern Europe. It's probably going to be Slovakia, Slovenia, Estonia, and Bulgaria. Like that pocket. You see what I mean? Of Eastern Europe. Definitely the Balkans. And the funny part is they actually speak English there. Um, in a lot of these areas. Which is crazy. Because I don't know any Slovenian, man. So. And that's what we're going to do, gentlemen. We are going to vlog from there. We are going to probably interview traditional foreign women on a separate channel and get their feedback how do they see the average relationship what is their mindset like what do they want to do for their men what is their mindset how do they express themselves what is their behavior how are they dress you guys are going to get to see real time their behavior so for guys like Jake Judy, who want Zdenka, I'm going to pop Zdenka on there and ask Zdenka some questions. And you know what, guys? It is going to motivate the hell out of you. 
you guys are going to be like, holy cow, I got to get my life together because I got to get overseas. I need to go where the, op gentlemen, there is no substitute for going to the opportunities. You have no other choice in life but to go to the opportunities. The opportunities aren't coming to you. Now, what do I mean by opportunities? If you're an actor, you got to get to Los Angeles or New York. If you're a musician, you need to go to Nashville or Los Angeles or Austin, Texas, and maybe New York. If you are somebody who's a performer, you got to go to Vegas right? If you're going to perform, if you're going to entertain, if you're going to be a, an act, if you're a comedian, you got to go to the comedy clubs. You got to go through the comedy circuit, Chicago, Los Angeles. Guys, you got to do these things. The opportunities aren't coming to you, son. I got bad news for you. The opportunities are not coming to you. This is another reason why TradCon is so low on the totem pole. Ouch. Because the opportunities aren't coming to you. You have to go get the opportunities. You need to leave. That's why another reason why I'm leaving LA, guys. The op I'm not an actor. Why would I stay in LA? Now, if I write a couple movie scripts, that's different. If I'm a writer, if I'm a director, now I need to starve. I need to suffer. I need to get into the business. I'm not in that business. You see what I'm saying, guys? you got to go where the opportunities are. They are not coming to you, son. Why do you think I walk out here and vlog every effing day? It's because i got to go to the opportunities, guys. It's a metaphor for your life. These freaking podcasters sitting around all day, no offense to them, but are they going to opportunities? They're sitting. They're immobile. They are not out here grabbing life by the you-know-what. It's a metaphor for their life. They want to sit in a dark room, rocking back and forth, talking about how AWs are this and AWs are that. That's a metaphor for your life. That's a metaphor for your existence. Are you going to go get the opportunities or are you just going to sit around and wait? <sighs> I'm both an actor and musician. You're right. I'd pick going to NYC over LA. Jake Judy. NYC, I know I crap on NYC all the time, but if, if you're going for specific music scene, if you're going for specific maybe theater acting, you got to go to the opportunities. Now, if you're going to be a film actor, you better get your ass to LA. You better start becoming a movie extra, which I have done. I did it in college when I was trying to, uh, what's it called? Just have a little side job and do homework on the set. You got to go to the opportunity. If you want to be a theater, okay, I'll say this much. I'm going to give you a little advice, Jake Judy. This is free advice for you, but it's worth a lot more than free. If you want to be a theater actor, which is a great start, you go to NYC. You go in the theater and you get your craft and you get some actual theater. You are going to have to shack up with six other dudes and live on a floor but you better get your ass to the opportunities sitting around and waiting and wasting your life is not going to do anything waiting around for trad it's the same thing for trad con women you're waiting around for these trad con women to come back and to find a good one your priorities are out of whack mr rp Your priorities are out of whack, Mr. Red Pill, this and all this. Get your ass to the opportunities or fail. Guys, if I was a film actor, I'd be in L.A. I'd be sleeping on somebody's couch right now. Hungry, determined. Where is your hunger, gentlemen? You think I'm going to get a film opportunity living in freaking Bulgaria? No. But there are more actors and Hollywood is having to fight these other countries now that Netflix and all these other streaming platforms want content from companies from countries that are cheaper and in their language so there will be competition against Hollywood there will be if you are a tech 
guy. If you are in tech, you're going to have to move to Silicon Valley in California. You're going to have to move to India, whatever. You got to go to where the opportunities are, guys. They're never going to come to you. Never. Not sometimes, never. Not once in a while, never. You want to know why? Because opportunities do not move at your behest. They don't. Because there are much more hungry people out there than you. And that's the biggest problem with AWs. That's the biggest problem with Western AWs. They don't have the hunger. You know who's coming for the opportunities? Traditional foreign women. Traditional foreign women are going to find you, gentlemen. What a lot of you men don't understand who hate yourselves or your low self-esteem or you think you're ugly or you're retarded in your own mind and you're fat and all these low self-esteem properties and your insecurities. The traditional foreign women are coming to you, son. They're coming to get you and me. See how I'm pointing at you and I got three fingers pointing back at me? They're coming for me, too. They're coming for you. They're coming for all of us. That's why I have my hand open. Because they're coming to all of us. And we're going to them. Do you see what I'm getting at? They want you just as badly as you want them. They're coming to you. And when you keep your focus on your purpose, they are naturally going to be in your face. When you move to New York, Jake Judy, and you start theater acting and you work off of Broadway and you're sleeping on the floor playing music and hungry and constantly living on the edge and fighting for everything you've got, all of a sudden what happens? You are now free from living for everybody else. You are free from being beaten down from, by society. You are free from being one of those people who expects everything to be handed to them and given to them. And all of a sudden now, you're out here kicking ass and you're beating everybody else. And then you, you become untouchable. You become immortal. You become like those actors who make it. Do you know how many entitled actors I've met in my lifetime? Do you know how many entitled musicians I've met in my lifetime who didn't have that hunger? Literally, that's all I've met my whole life. People entitled. <sighs> Thank you, Jake Judy says. You're welcome. It all ties back together, gentlemen. Your parents aren't going to teach you this. Your friends aren't going to teach you this. Your teachers. You want to know why? Because they're your competition, gentlemen. I got bad news for you. Your whole family is your competition. Everybody you know is your competition. Until they prove otherwise. They're your competition. No matter which way you slice it, they don't want you to succeed. Why would I want you guys to succeed? Why would I want you guys to get traditional foreign women and live your dreams and all this? Because it all comes full circle. Because when you guys win, I win. When you guys get all these opportunities and succeed, you are the minority, the population. When you win, I win. Because what happens is it comes full circle. What most people don't understand is this, what's ha this is what happens. Now, we have already gone over in the past that there's always a winner with every loser and there's always a loser with every winner, right? When you guys win, somebody else loses. Well, you know who loses? The vast majority of Western guys, when you guys win. When you win, there's some dude out there taking scraps and leftovers and single moms and this and that. When you guys win, when you succeed, when I succeed, there's some dude out there taking an overweight single mom or ran through trad con women and you guys get the payoff. Your wife is being born right now. Your traditional foreign wife is being born right now. This is what's out there, gentlemen. Hit that like button as you come in. When you're on your purpose, all of a sudden, now the opportunities start sprouting and you go and you get them you say you know what i've had enough of cincinnati i've had enough i'm doing nothing where i'm at i've got a dead-end job i got to take the five dollars in my pocket and i got to go make it happen this happen i'm not getting any younger i have to go win 
And when you succeed, you go, holy cow. I got to stick with the winners around me. I got to stick with the people at the top. I got to get rid of all these losers. If I had done this sooner, if I had done this five years earlier, I would have already been famous. And you start assessing all the winners in your life and all the losers and you start saying, wait a minute, I got to kick it with the winners. I got to stick with the winners and show them opportunities and take their opportunities and them give me opportunities and us stick together. That's how it works. Gentlemen. Winners stick with other winners. Winners don't try to tear down other winners. You know what winners do, guys? They step on losers. They step on them like little roaches. They just step on them. That's what they do. Hit that like button as you guys come in. You know what winners do? They delay gratification. You know what winners do? They don't settle for average AWs. Fours, fives, women with tattoos, with body piercings, and tons and tons of mental damage. You know what they do? They go for their dreams. They live their dreams every day. They don't listen to all these losers trying to tear them down. They go and get the opportunities. And they fail, and they get back up, and they fail, and they get back up, and they fail, and they get back up, and then eventually they win. I've had two successful businesses, guys, and I've had one business fail. My biggest business failed. Can I come back and get it later on down the line? Yes. That's how it goes. Can I resurrect it later on? Of course. But for now, it failed. I have to accept that. For now. I'm going to reassess, re-strategize, and I'm going to go get it. Winner, guys, the average loser is never going to tell you their failures. No, oh, I always win. I always was popular with me. Sure you were, son. Mr. Dating Roach, Mr. Relationship Roach, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you get kicked down, when you lose your business, when you, when you lose all your money, when you go from seven figures to zero to 50 bucks in your bank account, what are you going to do? How are you going to fix this? Isn't that right, little Kaylee's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on our e-bike. We're having fun. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to start dating? Are you going to stop working out? Are you going to get depressed? Are you going to lay in your bed all day? Are you going to accept your fate? What are you going to do? How are you going to deal with this? Are you going to laugh it off and cry yourself to sleep? Are you going to blame your problems on everybody else? Are you going to say, oh, it was the market? That's why my business failed? Or are you going to say, wait a minute, I made some bad strategical decisions. I overdeveloped. I didn't get the sales to where they were. What, how are you guys going to assess this? And it all comes back to trad con versus traditional foreign women. Trad con is the consolation prize. That's when you guys settle. Settle for less. That's what you get. A bunch of repackaged you know what. You guys want to stay in a city where everybody's trying to floss on everybody else. Everybody has a Corvette. Everybody has a freaking Porsche. Everybody's trying to one-up each other and they're all broke. Is that what you're going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to approach this? Are you going to accept the average Tradcon and all her lies? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was married, but, you know, I've only had 50 dudes. That's, it's not that bad. Oh, how many guys are you talking to you now? Oh, 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 oh I don't want to know. Is this what you guys are going to do? Hmm? Or are you going to delay gratification and go get what you want? Are you going to put in the effort? When I was talking to Tiny Tan... Overseas, little Thai girl, freaking hot as, oh my God, she was really, really pretty with her little sundress on. She was swinging in a swing. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. She's like 20, 22. Do you think I thought to myself, okay, I need to settle for a trad con. I need to stop working. I need to go get this girl. No, I didn't. Guys, you want to know what's ironic? When I was talking to her, I was thinking to myself, if this is what the payoff is, I got to start putting my life together. Not just for her, but for myself.
because it only benefits me and girls like her. It only is a plus. My life improving is going to pay, pay off in ways I can't even imagine. That's why I rejected my doppelganger ex. The chick who looked exactly like my hot ex, who was actually hotter, who was prettier, who was in college. That's why I rejected her. That's why I never went after her. Yes, gentlemen. Ugh. Ugh. I got a rock in my shoe and it is killing my feet. Oh, that is painful. I hope it's not in there still. It's probably one of those tiny rocks I can't get rid of. My doppelganger, my ex's doppelganger, was probably like a LA 8.3. And I still rejected her. I didn't go for it, guys. Why? Because I knew uh, I've earned better. And I'm going to earn better. And so are you guys. So are my legionnaires. Because we're free. Because we are understanding that it's going to take a lot more to achieve our purpose and to live our dreams. And as soon as our dreams are complete, now we've got everything that we want. When we've achieved our dreams, the traditional form, women are going to be that much more beautiful, that much more sweet, that much more caring. That's just how it is, guys. Because in all reality, look, winning is better than sex. I know a lot of guys don't believe me and they fight me on this, but winning is better than sex, guys. It is. It is. At the end of the day, there is no comparison. Gentlemen, when you win, when you achieve something greater and something that you've always dreamed of, there is no other... It, it's, it can never be taken away from you. It can never be taken away from you. It is the greatest feeling you will ever feel. It is so, like something out of a movie or a comic book. You got everybody. You've got everybody by the balls when you win. When you win, gentlemen, there is nothing like it. Hit that like button as you guys come in. When you win, there's nothing that can compare. When you win, everybody envies you. And yet, at, you're at the peak of your performance. I'll never forget. Flicked. And everywhere I turned, the marching band, yes, it was goofy. But the greatest, greatest, greatest thing that I ever done, the greatest thing that I did was keep losing at these competitions. We would drive out to these competitions, hour and a half, two hours away, and we would go up against other marching bands. And we kept losing, we kept losing, we kept losing. You got 200 plus students trying to beat each other in these stupid competitions. And we practiced and we practiced every day and we'd wake up at five in the morning and get there at six in the morning at the zero period and do all this crap and fight, 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 fight. And all of a sudden, one night, all of a sudden it all came together. All of a sudden we were all in sync. All of a sudden we were playing like our asses meant the world, like it was, the world was on fire. We were coming after everybody. We were coming for their necks and all of a sudden, at the end of that show, they announced the winners, and we came up. We got best, well, uh, what was it, top drum line, whatever the award was, and we got a trophy. And guys, I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. After all this losing, after a season of losing, we finally beat everybody. We kicked the living S out of everybody. We blew them away. We got some crazy score. And after that moment... I weighed the feeling of sex versus winning. And that was the end, gentlemen. That was the end. I knew right then and there, there was no greater feeling in the entire planet than actually winning. There was not, because no one can ever take it away from you. Nobody. The gospel of consumption Resist this trap, fellas. I promise your bank account and wallet will thank you, Mr. Dav Dacus. He's 100% correct. Stay with American women. Stay with Western damaged you-know-whats. That's what you're going to keep being told. You are going to be told to lose every day of your life that you're in the Western. You are going to be told this because it benefits society when you lose. 
when you lose, everybody else wins, gentlemen. When you pick up a single mom, when you shoot below your standards, society wins and you lose. That's how it goes. Nobody's going to tell you this. Nobody is going to be rooting for you to actually make the sacrifice and not go after AWs and save your energy, save your enthusiasm. Nobody's going to tell you this. Nobody. Not even your parents. Because they don't understand these mechanisms. Why? Because your parents are not hardwired for that. Why? Because your family wants you to stay right where you are. Your family does not want you to move. Your family wants you to stay there with them. They're afraid you're going to leave them. That's their biggest fear. They'll support you on the surface but they're going to say little things like, oh, why do you got to move, though? You could do it right here. You could, you could be a musician and a, an actor here. Why do you need to move? Why do you need to go to the opportunities? This is why there's so few successful people in life, gentlemen, who actually treat, achieve their purpose. They're inundated with failure. If you look at your life right now, gentlemen, 80 to 90% of the people that you meet are failures. And it's not that they're bad people. It's not that they're, you know, it's not that they're horrible people. They're just losers in general. They already gave up decades ago. But you, with your fire in your belly, you're the biggest threat to them. Because now they got to look at their own lives and assess that they never took the risk. And this is a threat. Why do you think Tradcons... Why do you think trad cons are all about you giving in and accepting them as they are? Why do you think trad cons don't want to tell you about their past? When you're dealing with traditional foreign women, they're going to tell you everything, even things you don't want to know. <laughs> this is the difference between success and failure, gentlemen. Success is not a Bugatti. Success is not a freaking Lambo. Success is none of these things. Success is you living your dreams, gentlemen. Success is not a trad con woman who's been used, who is inundated with society's message. She's pretty much assimilated. She tells you she's traditional conservative, but in all reality, she's just a liberal woman with a Republican political stance. And that's the big metaphor for the West. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors, gentlemen. And I don't want you guys to have to deal with these headaches. I want you guys to get ahead of where I was so you can come back and bleed off that winter energy over here forever. And this is why this stuff will never be popular. It will never be the popular ideology. Because winning in itself is a rare phenomenon. Winning in itself means you have to step on everybody. You have to step on them. You have to step over them. And most people can't do this. It's very hard for people to do, gentlemen. <laughs> I bet you didn't think the stream would go this way now, did you? <laughs> Never forget these truths, you know. Your life is what's held, held in the balance. And every loser out there is going to say things like, well, you can't get AWs. Well, there's no point in going overseas. All women are the same or worldwide. Well, you can get opportunities to come to you. They're always trying to buck the system. They're always trying to take short. One thing I learned about losers is they always want to take a, take a shortcut. There's always, a short, there's always a shortcut. There is no shortcuts, guys, because everybody who could take them have already taken them. So, believe what you want to be. Believe, Mr. I know better, Mr. I know women, when you actually, in actuality, you know what it's funny? The dating roaches and the relationship roaches are the biggest failures. Check it out, guys. Isn't it beautiful? They're the biggest failures in relationships. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Anyway, gentlemen, don't forget to push the like button on the way out. Figure the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Become a Legionnaire member. Hit the notification bell. Whew. 
do it all, become free mentally and disciplined mentally. Do it all. And until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you. So let's get to it. <laughs>